guys. Today we are in Napier City and we have wonderful weather. So we decided to go to the National Aquarium of New Zealand, as you can see there. So um, a little bit of history about this place. Um, the actual aquarium, uh, not actually aquarium, but collecting fishes, started by a fisherman's club in 1956. They started collecting fishes that they thought were interesting that they found while fishing and collected them under the war memorial. In 1976, they moved to a like more like a more like an aquarium thingy. And in, in 2000, they um, got a renovation of eight million dollars to make it into this place. And in 2002, the project was completed, and it is what we see now. So let's go inside and see what we can find. is called a buckle. Yeah, it's really big. So here we have multiple types of fishes, but just one. As you can see, they're different colors, different sizes. Um, there are actually four types of fishes in this tank. And this one has like a massage. There's giant guarani. This one's probably the giant guarani. It's right here. The arowana. Arowana is the longer one. This is the arowana. The crown roach. I like this here. Or maybe down there. Someone down there. And the valley's catfish. And the catfish is probably one of the most popular This is the goldfish area. There are many goldfish here. All different sizes. Can you touch them? Oh, yeah. Nah, this one will work. Yeah, this one I don't want to be touched. They're much bigger than normal goldfish. Can I touch them? It's a family dinner. Mm. They're having a family lunch. They're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. um, here we got these silver dollarfish. They're really shiny. It's like a silver. Mm. Call it silver. Um, here we got a lot and a lot of turtles and a big fish. And just a fun fact, the turtles can hold their breath through their bottoms. Not mouth, but their bottoms. That's fine. Here we have some lobsters and I want them for dinner. But these are some very colorful fishes. Um, this is a tuatara and it can hold its breath for one hour. This is an American alligator and I, never, I, I actually didn't see this one before. And American alligator can stay in one position for hours just look at its prey, like what it's doing now. 
it's pretty lifeless, but it's pretty cool. So here we can see an eel, and a fun fact that eels can breathe through their skin when they're on land. And if you want to see more eels, I've got um, a few more videos on my channel where I caught a small eel and saw a big one. I will leave a link in the description or in the end of the video. So if you want to see more eels, go there. This is the giant squid. It is a very big squid. And um, this squid has the si eyes the size of soccer balls. And it has three hearts. Now this is a big squid, but it's not as big as the one we have in Wellington and Tip Papa. So um, I may show it sometime if I don't have a video um, about it yet. What do they remove? Uh, excess uh, waste, food, wow. everything that's in the sand, yeah. Just leave the sand off. Yeah. The rays like want to eat. Yeah, the rays just like hugging them. And the fish is Look at this little penguin. He's so small and he's so cute. And it smells like fish here. And we have a heap small penguin doing the same thing. As you can see, we've already got our little ones getting over as they are quite excited for their lunchtime meal. So as you know, these guys are called the little penguin. And the reason we call them that is because they are the smallest species of penguin in the world. So you can see they're barely making over the bucket. So on average, around about 30 centimeters for a fully grown adult and about one kilo as well. Now it does vary penguin to penguin. We've got Betty coming out of the water. She's a little bit smaller 
than Dave, who was just facing you before. So it does vary when we're to Penguin as well. Now these guys here, as you can see, we have no snow, no ice. We've got an open roof. We've got New Zealand weather. Because these guys can be found all around the North and South Island. You can also find them in Southeast Australia, where they're more commonly known as the fairy penguin. Um, that is Timmy. So Timmy is our strongest swimmer. But when he came to us, he was unable to walk or even unable to swim. We believe that he may have had a collision with a boat. So he had a spinal injury when he arrived. So we've done a lot of work with him. We actually had a chiropractor who usually works with people come in and work with Timmy. And as you can see, he catches the deep fish in the water before they sink all the way down. And he is an excellent quick swimmer. So, but on land, he's still a little bit wobbly, which is how he generally lands on the naughty list. And it's also how he managed to take it. So we went through all the areas here. It wasn't really the biggest aquarium, but it was still fun. We saw a lot of things, we learned something. In the end, we have this amazing gift area. And I got this, I got this cool penguin. It's pretty cool. Also, our tickets are kind of like not single use, so you can come back throughout the day. So guys, that is it for the video. The, the aquarium wasn't that big, but I still enjoyed it. We also have this nice monument to the fishermen that started this aquarium by collecting fishes. It's pretty realistic, it's water spraying out of it. I, don't, well, I just think the best one I've ever seen. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you think. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.